Hi, friends. Welcome to Art Fits for Kids. My name's Kate. In this edition, we're going to look closely at a painting by Georgia O'Keeffe called Purple Leaves. She was inspired by what she observed in the world around her, whether she was on a farm, in the city, at a lake, or in the desert. She liked to collect objects like flowers, seashells, and animal bones. And making her artworks, she would take the time to look at her objects closely. While we look at this painting, we're going to investigate shapes and colors. Let's begin by looking at shapes. Artists use all kinds of shapes. There are geometric shapes, which are precise and regular, like squares, rectangles, and triangles. There are also biomorphic shapes. The word biomorphic means life form. These shapes are often rounded and irregular and may look like things that grow, flow, and move. Would you say the shapes in this painting are geometric or biomorphic? When you look at this painting, what shape stands out most for you? The leaf in the center of the painting seems to be the star of the show. A light is shining on it, and we see the entire leaf as it rests just so on top of the other leaves. Do you think the shape of this leaf is realistic? Let's compare the shape of the leaf in this painting to some photos of leaves. Can you find a match? Feel free to pause the video to have a long look. Did you discover that it is the shape of a white oak leaf? Now, let's look at the other leaves in the background. Notice how the edges of the leaves go beyond the edge of the artwork. They're cropped out of the image, so it's hard to see the shape of these individual leaves. Instead, their shapes remind me of other things. One shape reminds me of an outstretched hand. Above it, I see a pointer finger and thumb. When I look at the shapes of the shadows, I see a spade or an arrowhead. The artist, Georgia O'Keeffe, liked to represent objects using new perspectives. Let's try rotating the painting. Do you see anything you didn't notice before? When we change our viewpoint, we notice things in a new way. Now, let's look at the colors we see in this painting. Were you surprised to see purple leaves? Have you ever seen purple leaves in nature? What other colors can you find? Do you think the leaves are changing color like autumn leaves do in real life? And why do you think the artist chose these colors? Could it be that she liked the way they look together? They remind me of the colors I've seen at sunset when the sun is orange and the clouds appear purple. It feels restful. How do these colors make you feel? Georgia O'Keeffe had a unique style. She liked to include both realistic and abstract elements in her art. Realistic means something is painted true to life. Abstract means that it is painted in a way that isn't accurate but includes ideas and emotions that the artist wants to express. In her unique style, she used shapes and colors to make us notice nature in new ways. Thank you for exploring Purple Leaves with me. If you would like to see the painting in person, it is located in the Janet S. Dickey Gallery of Early 20th Century American Modernism, Gallery 203 of the Dayton Art Institute. We hope to see you soon. Check back next month for a new Art Vids for Kids.